This video gives an overview of the use of ABCD software with shorthand 10. These are some notes I've typed up. I'll go through them and then start the demonstration. Shorthand 10 for Windows is an excellent text expander used by many medical transcriptionists. It's put out by Shorthand LLC. I'm the proprietor of ABCD software, which offers specialized content for shorthand and for one other expander. The content is organized into an integrated system of short forms based on a few simple rules described on the website. The basic idea of text expansion is to type a few letters and get words, phrases, or sentences. This increases your productivity while at the same time reducing strain on your hands and wrists. For this video, Shorthand 10 and a text editor have been opened. Could have opened MS Word. Several ABCD dictionaries files have been loaded in shorthand. The main medical transcription dictionary of about 20,000 entries, a drug list of 17,000 entries with many dosages, and a supplementary word list with 25,000 entries. These have all been linked and will work together. We'll also take a look at word commands. We can navigate and manipulate text without the mouse. So let's take a look at some of the basic features of shorthand and ABCZ in use uh, in shorthand. Please note that this video capture program slows down text entry. In regular use, text entry with shorthand takes place very fast. Let's take a look at the main <coughs> window here to see what we can do in shorthand. We have various dictionaries opened here, which are indicated at the bottom here. We can also take a look at the customizable areas. This operation where you can customize quite a few things. The display, customize colors in particular. You know, file shortcuts to open a dictionary or a program. Your auto replace settings. You can either have the hint window shown or not, and same with the suggestion window, and we'll take a look at those in a minute. And then the very important feature of links, where you have several dictionaries that are linked together so they all are active, and you can use any one of them at, at one time. You can also disable the links, of course. So we'll hide this for the moment. And notice we have the suggestion window here in yellow. That can be either one column or three. We'll keep it at one column for now. And we'll get rid of this text and let's start. I was a medical transcriptionist for many years and typed a lot of dictations. Here's an example. Suppose a doctor dictated and said, I had the opportunity. I type IHTO. Right away, the hint window shows I had the opportunity, and down below in the suggestion window, it's there too. To enter that text, I hit the space bar. To see the patient, first letter of each word, in neurological consultation, if I wanted that, I could hit the B. In my office, I could either hit F1 or again hit the B on December 30th. D30, if I wanted the regular form, I hit F1. I can also have a slashed or hyphenated form with F2 and F3. We'll take the regular form. Suppose a medication were being dictated. The patient was TBW, prescribed amiodarone, type A-M-I-O, and Judy's drug list now is active, and we see various choices for amiodarone, either the plain term or with the dosage of 200 or 400 milligrams. Let's take the 400 milligrams by hitting F6. Big keystroke savings there, and the drug is spelled correctly. Now, there are many different phrases of three or more words of Two word phrases, the first letter of each word here, for example, if we want a disability status, we could hit the D or we could hit F4. Plus, many subject verb combinations, she has been, she had been, and so forth, should be, he has been. Again, the hint window can be turned off if you don't 
want it right there beneath the area where I typed. And then, of course, there are many individual words. Here we have uh, the main ABCZ rule, the first three letters and the last letter of the word, and then a disambiguation letter, B, C, D, E, F, below. If we wanted cardiomegaly, we would hit F3. That would be one way to get it. Also note that we have the endings already supplied for many words, like abbreviate. If we wanted abbreviating, abbreviated, and so forth, you can choose the correct form or just type the final letter and get your word that way. That last entry is from the 25,000 entries in the supplementary word list. Okay, let's now look at the link feature and disable those links. Click on here to disable the links. And now we have these separate <coughs> dictionaries which are here and not linked. We can open them separately if we wish to. Right now we're opening the word commands which is used uses something called TCL scripting, uh, which is a very powerful feature. And one way you can use it is to use this commands dictionary that uh, is available from ABCZ to manipulate words and text without using the mouse and without knowing the commands that, say, Microsoft Word might have. So if we want to go up three lines, up three, then hit F1, and we're up three. We want to go down two lines, F1, go down two lines. Suppose we wanted to copy, copy, well, let's say four words to the left. F1, they're copied, and we can paste them. And so that's the command feature, which is very powerful in shorthand. Okay, let's look at some other features of shorthand. Bring up the main window again. And let's switch to the video dictionary that I made. Notice that you can open, have a shorthand that begins with a comma or other punctuation mark, or begins with a number. We can also switch from one glossary to another. For example, <clears throat> here if I wanted to go to the main medical transcription glossary, we'll see how that works. I type the comma. I only have a few entries. I could comma M, and if I want to go, we have now loaded the main medical glossary. You can also import files from other expanders with shorthand. You can go to websites. I won't show those features here. And that's it.